All right, we're gonna have a bunch of new terms here that you're gonna to have to practice, right, to, um, to learn them. So this, first of all, I make sense of this, this is volume on this axis here over time. So looking at volumes that are going to um, occur during inspiration and expiration. And these are going to be during resting breaths and then deeper breaths, right? You know, you can just take normal breaths and you can breathe really deep in and out. So remember, I already told you 500 milliliters is our tidal volume. That's the amount that we just breathe in and out at rest. So that's gonna pop up here. There we go. Look at that tidal volume, VT. Of course, there's an abbreviation. There's also, you'll notice above that, a reserve volume. There's some amount of volume you have in reserve that's outside of that um, tidal volume. So anything outside of the tidal volume is gonna be some sort of reserve. It's on reserve in case you need it. There's an inspiratory reserve volume up here. This would be right volume inhaled up this way. So right here is inspiratory reserve volume. The amount you can inspire by using those accessory muscles. And then tidal volume plus your inspiratory reserve volume is gonna give you your inspiratory, inspiratory capacity, your total amount you can inspire. inspire. It's possible to inspire. It really is just equal to IRV plus TV, right? Sorry, that last one should be VT. We've also got an expiratory reserve volume. That's down there, kind of covered up. So raise this, ERV. <sighs> That's the amount you can expire on top of what you do with your just resting breath. The total amount you can inspire and expire is your vital capacity, vital like alive. Um, this is going to be your IRV plus tidal volume plus ERV, yeah? This whole piece right here. But notice there's, what is this green stuff down here? That is some stuff that you never can breathe out. There's some residual air in your lungs that can never be exhaled and that's actually so that your, your lungs don't collapse. You need to have some air in there, otherwise your alveoli literally are collapsed. So this is called the residual volume. Um, that's, what's, that's what's down there. We can skip that one. The total lung capacity is all of these added together that is an amount you never actually can breathe in and out without your lungs um, collapsing. But it is literally the volume that your lungs could potentially inhale and exhale. Here is another way of looking at that same thing. Um, this is just a nice figure that I want you to have. You could label these different components going along this way. So here is tidal volume those reserve volumes and residual, you could add together those tidal volume with, with the inspiratory reserve volume and you'd get inspiratory capacity. You could add all three of those together and get vital capacity. And this whole entire one here is your total lung capacity. Now, what do you think during exercise, what's gonna change? Which of these things? Well, this is actually what that looks like, if that helps. As you exercise, the amount you breathe in and out with each breath is going to change. 
is going to increase.